What? You haven't heard about Mixer? Well, actually, me neither. Until Ninja decided to be a sellout and betray us all. What's up guys, Lucas here and today we are going to talk about Ninja, all the theories on why he left Twitch for Mixer and also we are going to be painting a portrait of him because, well because this is supposed to be an art channel. So let's jump into it. Why is this so important? Why should you care about this? Not because it affects you and definitely not because it affects me on any way, but because my views are going down lower than CHC's dignity. But Lucas, nin Ninja who? Seriously dude, I'm not going to answer that. If you don't know who Ninja is, then make yourself a favor and just abandon this video right now. Seriously, stop it, because you're not going to care about anything that I'm going to say from here onwards. Still here? So for anyone that doesn't know what am I talking about, so for anyone that lived on their rock like myself, I'm gonna make you a summary. Four days ago, yes, we are very late to the party, Ninja shared the next chapter on his Twitter. Let's watch it. As of today, I will be streaming exclusively on Mixer. <gasps> and since then, the internets went crazy with the news. But just for you to understand the magnitude of this random guy to go from one platform to another to stream, he's not only arguably the most popular streamer in the entire world since streaming became a thing, but his viewership alone, that, that means his channel alone, represents 1%, one whole percent of the entire viewership of Twitch. It's like saying that he has the weight, the streaming weight of 30,000 average streamers. 30,000. A lot of people online are trying to figure out or make reasons for why he would have left Twitch, which is definitely the biggest, the biggest platform out there by a whole bunch. And the big rumor out there is that he left the platform for a hundred million dollars contract. Which, by the way, nobody has showed any evidence. So, to be honest, it's just like somebody said that he accepted a hundred million dollars and suddenly everyone started saying that he accepted that amount of money. And answering to this, a lot of people said that he already was a millionaire, so there was no reason for him to just like go to another platform and change everything up if he was already, you know, showering in money. A second group of people were saying that he just left Twitch because Twitch was biting his butt. And that makes sense because we have all heard how much Twitch pressures these big creators, these big streamers to just stream more constantly, stream more hours and he was going to, he was streaming up to 90 hours a week. Can you imagine that? That is streaming more than double a normal work shift. But one of my favorite theories and to be honest, it would make a lot of sense, is the one that Ethan mentions in the H3H3 podcast, and he says that there is a possibility, or that it would make a lot of sense, if Mixer would have offered Ninja shares. Just think about that, if Ninja would have gotten shares for Mixer, the boom that he is generating right now in the streaming world, all the people going to Mixer, all the people that, that decided to leave Twitch and go into Mixer, he, he basically put Mixer on the map. Now all of that makes a lot of sense, but I will tell you what I really think. Look at this graph. During his prime moment, little more than a year ago, Ninja was getting more than 2 million followers per month. From there. It was just like a, a downhill slide to around 100,000 per month. Not to say that 100,000 per month is a little bit, right? It's still huge, but just imagine going from 2 million to 100,000. So I think that in Ninja's eyes, his channel, his Twitch stream was just going downhill and he wanted to shake things up before it was too late. And then... Mixer appears with a bag of money bigger than what you or me have ever seen in our entire lives. And Ninja goes, hmm. Of course, all of this is just me speculating and maybe, maybe his agent is right and all of this has little to do with money. Let me, let me put my, my reading glasses. My roots as a gamer started with Halo. So working with Microsoft and coming over to Mixer felt like a natural step. I'll let you decide what to think of that. 
But I know that one thing is for sure and that is that competition is good. Personally, I'm very excited for the change to be honest because I was streaming already in Instagram for the last month and I was looking for a platform to improve other than Instagram because it sucks streaming on Instagram. But now that all of this is happening, to be honest, Mixer doesn't sound half bad and, and I think that I will give it a try. So if you want to join me, just go and check out mixer.com slash and join me there. I'm honestly excited to see what this new platform does for the whole stream community and for small creators. So let's see. That's it for me guys. Thank you very much for watching this video till the end. Leave me a like if it was useful and of course subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.